Hello and welcome to this week's edition of BS with AJ. This week we're going to be finishing up our, the building portion of our walnut baby crib that we've been working on. We're going to be building the center piece that actually holds the crib up and we're also going to be drilling all the holes and putting the whole thing together. Stick around. Now to put our headboard and our footboard together with our side rails, we're going to go ahead and drill some holes here. The first one you're going to measure from this end to three quarters of an inch. The second one's going to be from this end to two and an eighth. And then we're going to come over one inch from this side and we're going to mark that. And that's where our screws are going to go. Alright, now instead of measuring to try and line these holes up and risking it being off a little bit, what we're going to do is just set it up here with it where it's supposed to be, make it flush on this side, and then we're going to take an eighth inch drill bit, put right in that bottom mark that we just made. Without moving it, we're going to come back to the other one, the back one here, and do the same thing on just the bottom one for now. Now that we have it marked with an eighth inch drill bit, and we'll come back and drill that out the right size here in a little bit. All right, this is the setup we're going to use to attach our rails to our head and our footboard. We're going to use a quarter of 20 by 40 millimeter bolt. And as you can see, it's darker colored, so it ain't going to stick out as much. And we're also going to be using a quarter 20 screw-in insert nut. And we're going to drill a 5 16 hole for this one. And it's got a little Allen head on the front. We're going to use that to screw it into the wood on our post. And then we're going to take a quarter inch drill bit and drill through our side rails so that way this can go through with no problem. Now for our screw and insert nut, what we've done, we've taken our 5 16 drill bit and put tape down here a little past 3 quarters of an inch. That's how long this is. We wanted to set in just a little bit, so I made it just a, just a hair more, like a sixteenth more. And we're going to just take it and drill it right up to that line. you go ahead and put it together you're going to want to measure it to make sure it's square so we're going to go from one corner to the opposite corner of that 65 and an eighth and what you want to do to check and make sure it's square is to go to the opposite corner and see what it measures all right I've got 65 and an eighth as well so it's perfectly square now once you got it square, that, then we're going to come in and drill our other hole that we had marked on each of them. Alright, now we're going to start working on the frame on the inside that's going to be holding the baby bed up. I've decided to use oak for this because it's not going to be seen anyway and because it's a lot cheaper and I have a lot more of it. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and rip this down to two inches. All right, we're going to start by cutting two pieces at 28 and a quarter inches. We're going to cut two more pieces down to 50 and 3 eighths. Alright, we're going to take our long boards and put them three inches from the edges. Now we're going to cut two more pieces down to 19 and 15 16. All 
All right, now we're gonna take those pieces and put them in the middle here. We've divided it into three equal spaces. It ends up being pretty close to 17 inches. Alright, so we're going to measure up 13 and a half inches and we're going to come over from the side 2 inches and where those two points meet we're going to drill a 5 16 inch hole about 3 quarters of an inch deep. That's where we're going to put our screw in insert nuts and we're going to do this to all four posts. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and drill the holes that we need for our screws to hold our inside frame piece that actually holds the mattress up. We've went down an inch and a half and we centered it up here at one inch. And we marked this on all four corners and we're going to drill this out with a 5 16 inch drill bit. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put another set of screw in insert nuts to make it adjustable because after five months we need to drop the mattress down quite a bit. So what I've done is I measured off the bottom five and a half inches and then we came over from the side the same two inches on all four posts. So that way we can just drop it down and screw it into there. All right, now that we have it bolted in place, all we have left to do is cut us a piece of plywood that's 52 by 28 inches. And we're gonna just slide it right on top here. We'll drill two holes to make sure we can grab it pretty easily and pull it out. And then all we got left to do is finish this wood. you enjoyed this week's project be sure to like share and subscribe if you have any good ideas for other projects that you'd like to see leave me a comment and I'll get to it uh, consider supporting us on patreon so we can do bigger and better projects